Steven from OzMods, back with another video and another new build. After my last Far Cry Primal build, I was contacted by Asus to help them make a very unique Far Cry Primal themed build. This one stubbed the Republic of Gamers Beastmaster. This build is for one of their grand prizes for a competition that they'll be running, which will be uh, open worldwide and running from the 28th of March until the 17th of April. The details on how to enter this competition, please check out the link below. Asus has really gone all out and provided some exceptional hardware for the Beastmaster. Now this includes the Asus Strix GeForce GTX 980 Ti, which as a lot of you would know delivers a truly elite gaming experience. I'm very fortunate to have one in my personal build and the performance this card offers is outstanding. With 1317 MHz GPU boost clock in overclock mode, with 7200 MHz factory overclocked memory speed for outstanding gaming. They've also included a ROG Maximus 8 formula, which is perfect for cooling to colour. It offers a uh, cross chill EK for both air and liquid cooling. It also has some awesome gaming lighting, three-way RGB illumination and uh, lighting control as well. Uh, so you can actually see that lighting on the, on the motherboard there, so I've gone for a, for a green uh, static on, on this board. And, um, you can do pulsating effects and uh, a ton of other great features that are really fun to play around with. It also has some of the best gaming audio. Uh, reinvented uh, Supreme FX 2015 with Intuitive uh, Sonic Studio 2. Not to mention great protection with a ROG armor made from premium components for maximum durability. The ROG Beastmaster also features an Intel Core i7 6700K with a stock 4 GHz. A Thermaltake Core X9 Cube chassis, a Corsair RM850i power supply, 16GB total of our Corsair Vengeance DDR4, and as far as storage goes, uh, we've got a Western Digital 2TB hard drive under the skull, as well as a 500GB Samsung Evo SSD. We uh, have uh, some great uh, cable extensions done by Mod Guru, and um, we've got EK water cooling blocks on the CPU and GPU. EK Coolstream 360 radiator, EK feedings and tubing, and um, also some uh, Thermaltake RGB fans, 120mm by 3 uh, on the radiator at the top, as well as 7 additional fans for additional airflow throughout the case. Okay, so now I wanted to show you a few of the, um, the art features of the case, as well as some of the lighting features that we have. For the art on the actual front side of the case there, you'll see the Republic of Gamers 10th Anniversary logo. This is all done in uh, actual vinyl and also hand painted. I'll um, bring up a, a large image of this on the screen now for you to make it a bit easier. And um, some of the other artwork we also have here, we've got on the top panel, we've got the Asus In Search of Incredible logo. Um, obviously it's, it's textured and um, colour wise matches quite nicely into the build. Slides it up the top there. And on the back side we've got a Rise Above Extinction panel. Um, which is very similar to my last one. Oh, there we go. Perfect. On the back end I'll bring a picture of it now as well. Uh, we've got a Ubisoft logo as well as one of the um, Far Cry Primal uh, Sabertooth Skull silhouettes on there as well. On the inside now, um, we've got our RGB LEDs made by Mod Guru, and um, what I really love about them is they, they fit in so nicely with the capabilities of the uh, Asus ROG uh, Maximus 8 formula motherboard. And I'll show you some of the colours quickly now with the control, and this is on a mode which just cycles nice and quickly through, just so you get a bit of an idea. Um, so depending on, on your mood, you can change everything about this PC. Some of the other components I wanted to go over quickly is some of the airflow. Uh, for my previous Primal build, I got a lot of people commenting saying, oh, what about the airflow? You know, the airflow is going to be no good in that case with all that stuff in it, blah, blah, blah. But uh, the airflow is actually quite, quite good. On the, um, the front and the back, you can actually see some slots where I've actually moulded the cabling, which you can't actually see from the front, uh, to allow the air to actually flow cleanly through the case. On the top, I've actually got um, five fans here actually being the exhaust, and two on the front side being intake as well as the large original thermal take uh, cube fan and two extra ones I'll put in the back. These are all located on a, a controller which I've uh, located in the back corner. Um, obviously being a primal theme I wanted to, to minimize my, my digital gauges and gauges on the front as much as possible. Yeah, this combined with the, uh, the water cooling aspects for this build is actually quite a, quite a cool build. Uh, under heavy load the highest temperature I could hit the CPU was 40 degrees and uh, the graphics card was only hitting a couple of degrees over 30. 
Um, that's some pretty intensive gaming over about three hours as well. So um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with, it, with the temperatures, considering how much it actually does have in it. That covers off on pretty much the majority of the um, some of the details in the actual build for you guys. Uh, check out all the pictures to follow. You'll see a whole new level of um, smaller details within the build. I really hope you guys like it, and um, don't forget to head over to the link, which uh, again I'll put below. And um, yeah, hope one of you guys uh, win this awesome prize. And um, yeah, big thanks to Aces for, for organising this, this competition. And um, until next time, guys, happy money.